Hi, my name is Sara Beatriz Chuarce Iglesias, and I am a graduating master's student in information security from the INI. Congratulations, class of 2021. We finally made it. In the blink of an eye, our CMU journey has come to an end, and it is finally time to embark on a new stage in life. Although, we will be faced with many obstacles to overcome. It is our obligation to never forget all of our achievements and victories, to never forget our struggles to winning all our, our battles, and to never forget all those people that helped us get to where we are. It is now our turn to pay it forward and to show the world what a CMU alum is all about. Hey class of 2021, huge congratulations for all your efforts. It's been such an amazing last 12 months, be it what has happened worldwide, but also in terms of your studies and your academic success. I just want to wish all of you a wonderful graduation. Be proud of this day and achieve what you want to achieve in life. Take care. Congratulations, class. I am Tier Michelle Wicks, and today I am so excited to be receiving my Bachelor of Science in Business Administration. Kudos to you on navigating this obstacle course called life as the world turned upside down. Bravo on being the class to usher in a more diverse and inclusive framework at CMU. We have many reasons to be proud of ourselves for reaching this milestone. My favorite thing about CMU is our interdisciplinary nature. In addition to our academic prestige, our class is known for our incredible talents from musical theater to game development and more. I encourage our class to always focus on your passions and cherish them because that's what makes us unique. During my college tenure, I've explored many of my passions and learned that my most beloved passion is helping underserved communities. I was inspired by the marvelous works of our class from sending care packages to Puerto Rico to our response to the global pandemic and 2020 civil unrest. This type of involvement has inspired me to do more in my community and to teach others to do the same. Our class is composed of phenomenal leaders. I implore you to put your heart into that work. To our strong, resilient class of 2021, continue your great work. And remember, this is not a moment, it's a movement. Congratulations, class of 2021. We are so proud of you. You made it through a lot. You made it through your first year where you were forced to live in Donner with that roommate. You made it through that internship where you thought you'd be writing code all summer, but you ended up just making PowerPoint presentations. You also survived that sunburn that you got during spring carnival where you and some of the best people you'll ever meet built a house in a week. Y'all did that for real. And let's be honest, a lot of y'all have made it through my photography classes where I might have showed you 500 images in the dark over two hours and you were pulling an all-nighter, but y'all didn't just survive all that, y'all thrived. And you're now starting to take this disciplines that we, we taught you about and you're starting to move them forward, you're starting to expand them, you're starting to make them your own, you're starting to make them better. You will soon start to make this world better and for that we thank you. And for the time we got to share with you, thank you. We are grateful, we are grateful for you. Congratulations. I'd like to think that we're a class of perseverance. We came here because we believe that our heart is in the work, and we wanted to learn and grow as much as possible before the next stage of our journey. Now we've learned from concepts and capstones, clubs and research, and sitting in office hours, either giving or receiving help. Because of mentors, friends, and giants, we've grown beyond imagination. And because of online learning, we've learned a little bit more about what it means to persevere. Now we're ready. We're ready to break boundaries, whether we're exploring new planets, curing previously incurable diseases, or bringing a new meaning to humanity. We're ready to break boundaries because we've earned the right to say, our heart is in the work. Good luck to everybody on the journey ahead. I've been really lucky to meet all of y'all. Folks, we did it. You did it. We survived this past year against all odds and got a degree while doing it. I know I'm not alone when I say that this degree took a lot of unexpected turns. Whether you took to the streets to publicly demand justice or fought privately against long-standing inequities, whether you had to quarantine away from family or stay close to take care of your loved ones, whether you had to put your plans on hold or get rid of those plans entirely, during this past year, 
we've all had to make sacrifices and strides of our own. Whatever it is that you did this past year, I hope that now you can take time to breathe and celebrate. Celebrate everything that you've accomplished this past year and throughout your journey here at CMU. Whatever it is that you decide to do, I know that you will succeed in doing it. Again, congrats to the class of 2021. Congratulations, graduates. You did it. I am so proud of you and all that you have accomplished. You've worked really hard, and I hope that you can take this moment to relish in us celebrating you and your successes. Please also know that it has been my honor to be a part of your student experience here at Carnegie Mellon. I look forward to seeing where the future will take you, and I wish you all the best. Again, congratulations, and I look forward to staying in touch. Congratulations, class of 2021. My name is Kirun Prasad, and I'm graduating from the Masters of Artificial Intelligence and Innovation program. As I was thinking about it, I realized that we all came from very different places and are going in many different directions. But for the short duration that we were here, we made the CMU experience. And I encourage you to view it as an experience rather than an education, because it is so much more than an education. Looking back upon my own experience, I'm particularly proud of my work with the Master's Advisory Committee. When looking to the future, we can either view life as a series of challenges or a sea of opportunity. I challenge you to view life as a sea of opportunity. And remember, the difference between ordinary and extraordinary is that little extra. Hi, my name is Fiona DeBrosa and I'm a senior studying decision science and psychology and minoring in drama. When I first came to CMU, I didn't know who or what I wanted to be, but through my experiences, whether it was joining a club, participating in research, volunteering, or exploring new academic interests, I have become a stronger and more confident woman. It has been an absolute honor to learn alongside my peers and watch them become the leaders before us today. We have shown incredible resilience and grit these past few years, and you should all be very proud of how far you've come. After graduation, I am very excited to be attending Goucher College's post-baccalaureate pre-medical program to start my path to becoming a physician. Thank you to Carnegie Mellon for helping me grow and congrats to the class of 2021. Hi everyone, this is Annie Cho, a senior from design. To all my classmates, kudos to all of us for making it so far through many difficulties such as hard classes, all-nighters, meal plans, and just many ups and downs internally and externally in varying scales. I've said many goodbyes moving from place to place in my life. Usually they're pretty sad, but this time I think we can have a celebrating heart for it. Regarding that, for this goodbye, I like to share a modified version of a quote from Winnie the Pooh. It goes like this. How blessed I am to have so many and much that makes saying goodbye so hard. I've been blessed with amazing friends, teachers, teammates, resources, and you'll hear at Carnegie Mellon. And I'm sure you can relate to me at least to some degree. Good job, and thank you, class of 2021. All of you have been such a blessing throughout joyful and difficult times. And I have no doubt that you will continue to be to many others as we go forward. Hello, class of 2021. My name is Ozioma Paul, MSIT 2021. It has been so inspiring seeing you all thrive even through um, this pandemic. And I want to wish you a happy graduation and greater achievements ahead. Bye. I want you all to know how much I appreciate you as a class. I have learned so much from all of you um, about resilience, about fortitude, about pushing through difficulty, and about uh, creativity in the face of adversity. I have seen students, particularly in the School of Drama, push through creative barrier after barrier to come up with work that is inventive beyond my wildest imaginings. And I have been so impressed by the way in which students have conducted themselves through this enormously difficult year. You are an unforgettable class. Um, I will always hold you in a very special place in my heart. Uh, we will not forget you. And we hope that you don't forget us either. So please stay in touch. And I will say through these tears, congratulations.
Be well. Congratulations to the class of 2021. This year has shown us that things can change really quickly. Your successes through this unprecedented time demonstrates that you are ready to be leaders who will adapt to any opportunity or any difficulty that comes your way. Congratulations, class of 2021. You made it our times. You are now officially CMU alumni. I hope the four years were filled with excitement and happiness. I am proud of each and every one of you. I wish you all the best in your future studies or jobs or wherever life takes you next. A goodbye, you would be missed. Class of 2021, congratulations. My name is Carlos Cabre and I'm a senior in the Tepper School of Business. Um, it's been an interesting four years. I don't think a lot of it went the way, especially us seniors thought it was gonna go, but nonetheless, we're here, we made it. And I just wanted to wish everyone well. Congratulations to Carnegie Mellon University's graduating class of 2021. You've come a long way and I am so excited to see you in the world. Hi, I'm Eileen Chen, a graduating senior studying information systems. Congratulations, class of 2021. We finally made it. Despite the tumultuous and uncertain times, we came back resilient and stronger than ever. We found our passions, pursued our ambitions, and made unforgettable memories. Although we are going to go our different ways, the memories and the people we share those memories with will always be with us. Class of 2021, we have challenged ideologies, made our voices heard, and forged our own paths at Carnegie Mellon. Wherever your paths may go, I know there is nothing but success in store for each of you. Congratulations. Congratulations to the class of 2021. You made it. Wow, what a journey this has been. You made it through CMU and through COVID, an instant double major. You showed quite some resilience and determination, but also patience and compassion and friendship. And I'm sure in the last four years, you made quite some friends on campus in your dorms, at night on the fence, or on Zoom. As a CMU graduate, you are prepared for the world and how to make your impact on it. And if you took my Physics 1 class and made it through that, nothing can stop you now. Commencement is a joyous day where we celebrate and honor our graduates. You can be proud of what you have accomplished. Again, congratulations, class of 2021. Way to go! Congratulations, class of 2021. This has been a heck of a senior year. It's one for the history books. You have come a long way. You have worked hard to keep yourselves, your family, your friends, your communities safe. You have learned in unbelievably difficult circumstances and you have thrived. We are so proud of everything that you've done and we are looking forward to seeing what you can do when all of this nonsense is over. Congratulations. Carnegie Mellon class of 2021, how's it going? My name's Casey Cott, I graduated in 2016. My brother graduated in 2012. We're a Carnegie Mellon family. I'm the, uh, the much more handsome, humble of the two of us. Uh, I just wanted to personally welcome you to the alumni that is Carnegie Mellon. Uh, graduating CMU is one of the coolest accomplishments you will have in your entire life. It's something that no one can ever take away from you. Every time I tell someone I went to Carnegie Mellon in the industry, whether it's on set or wherever, you always get this kind of cool like side eye, like, oh really, kind of thing. So I look forward to you all getting a million of those, like, oh, your fancy side eyes, they're the best. Um, I just want to shower you guys with love. I'm so pumped for you. You're entering the industry at such a wacky, wild time. We're going to be here for you guys, and I'm just, I can't express how dope it is that you guys made it through college and you're graduating. 
I can't wait to watch you all change the world with your massive imaginations. Enjoy these last few days and I'll see you out there. Let's go. Hello and welcome to the 123rd Carnegie Mellon University commencement. We are currently in Gesling Stadium, CMU's football stadium, which has been a traditional venue for graduation for many, many years. My name is Alice Shashkina. I am a rising senior studying behavioral economics, statistics, and HCI. And this is my co-host, Sunny. Thanks, Alice. My name is Sunny Dengue, and I'm a first year Master of Entertainment Industry Management student at Heinz College. It is our great honor to be here today to be your student commentators for your commencement pre-show. The last 14 months have been unlike any other, so this weekend will also be pretty unique. This is actually the first large in-person event on campus since early March 2020. President Farnam Jahanian calls it a meaningful step forward in helping our community begin to resume a semblance of normalcy. This weekend, we have 2,200 students graduating with us in person. And in addition to that, we have 2,800 students graduating virtually with us from all over the world. Yeah, so let's set the scene a little bit. Students have been filing into the stadium since about 10 a.m. There is about maybe 500 here now. They were assigned set specific times to arrive and are also asked to keep their masks on throughout the entire event. They actually have special CMU commencement masks. Mm. The chairs are physically distanced six feet apart and students are sitting with their respective colleges and sections. In a moment, we are going to show a map on screen that will outline where the respective colleges are. Alice, there are so many people here today. Can you take a guess at which college has most students represented here today? That's a great question, Sunny. I'm gonna have to say probably College of Engineering. There seem to be a lot of people over there. Yeah, Woo! make some noise. <laughs> yes, Alice, you're absolutely right. Today, College of Engineering is the largest student group today with 450 students. And moving to the left, yes, let's give it up. Moving to the left, we have the Tepper School of Business. Yeah! <laughs> and then the College of Fine Arts. Yeah! <laughs> awesome. And down the center, we also have the Mellon College of Science. Dietrich College. Yeah! <laughs> Heinz College. Yes. And to the very left, we have the School of Computer Science. Nice. And then down in the middle, or down back, there is the interdisciplinary colleges, which houses programs like BXA. Yeah, we have so many colleges represented here today. And because I'm from Heinz College, I have to give a little plug for it. <laughs> Alice? Yeah. Alice, did you know that Heinz College has maintained the number one ranking in U.S. News and World Report for its information and technology management specialty for over two decades? Sunny, that's a long time. Did you also know that Heinz College, along with my home college, Dietrich, is actually has the world's best undergraduate information systems program? Wow, look at that. Go Tardis! Now, we have been talking for a little bit, and I'm sure you guys are all anticipating your graduation. Am I right? Okay, so we're going to move on to talk a little bit about the details of your graduation. When the clock strikes 11, the ceremony will officially begin. It'll last for about an hour. It'll officially start when the bagpipers come in over here and start playing, and the university leadership will also come up to the stage right here. There will also be a few speeches, including one by Jim Rohr, the chairman of CMU Board of Trustees, President Farnam Jahanian, and the student speaker today, Frank Avino, who will be graduating with his MBA. In addition, we will be conferring four special doctoral degrees virtually this weekend. Today, we will be conferring them to Franz Cordoval, who previously led the National Science Foundation, as well as to Martha Nussbaum, philosopher and author who focuses on human vulnerability and how to create a just society. Yeah, and following that ceremony and remarks from President Jahanian, 
Each college will be invited to stand individually and degrees will be presented. However, students will not be walking across the stage. They'll stand as a group, which is a tradition for CMU for this main ceremony. Actually, each department will be holding its own virtual ceremony this weekend to call the names of each of the graduates. Speaking of virtual ceremonies, to those of you tuning in virtually at home from all over the world, we would love to see your participation as well. Please show us where you are at, how you're feeling by sharing a social media post on Instagram or Twitter with the hashtag CMUGrad21. Once again, we are Alice and Sunny, co-commentators for today's commencement pre-show. We are about 10 minutes away from commencement. In the meantime, we're gonna take a little bit of a break and let you take a look at the social media posts your fellow graduates are posting. Hello again. Hope you have enjoyed the amazing social media post. And if you also like to participate, just upload your social media to Instagram or Twitter with the hashtag CMUGrad21. Once again, my name is Sunny. I'm Alice. And we're currently at the Guestling Stadium where CMU has held its traditional ceremonies for many, many years. Thank you so much for hanging in out there. And today is all for you. Let's take a look back at some of the things that we have accomplished this year. So going back to something that you mentioned earlier, Alice, this year has been truly unlike the past. So tell me a little bit about your experience. That's a good point, Sunny. Actually, all my classes this semester and last semester were completely virtual, which was, you know, a little different given that we were stuck on our computers all day, every day. <laughs> also, a lot of organizations and activities I'm a part of, and I'm sure a lot of you here are a part of as well, had to accommodate to this new reality. For example, Scotch and Soda, CMU's theater, student-run theater organization, had to do improv, no, improv shows completely on Zoom. They had to do musicals where students had to uh, you know, film themselves dancing, acting, singing independently in their rooms, and then the editors stitched it all together to create a show. Another organization, Spring Carnival, will, was also held completely remotely last year in 2020. And this year actually incorporated a few more in-person elements, like a small socially distanced concert. What about you, Sunny? How's this year different for you? I definitely relate to everything that you just told me, Alice, because it has, very been, it has been very similar to my experience as well. Coming into Pittsburgh all by myself, not knowing anyone as a first year master's student, I really wasn't expecting a lot. 
I thought I was just gonna sit in my Zoom box all day, every day, but surprisingly, I made more connections and gained more opportunities than I expected. For example, I am currently a podcast producer at Heinz Radio, which is a student-led radio station that produces podcasts centered around topics of policy, tech, and the arts. In addition, we can enjoy this lovely weather here in Pittsburgh. There are also a lot of opportunities for us to get outside of our Zoom box. And speaking of Spring Carnival, which is a CMU tradition, I was actually one of the buggy pushers for this year. I'm not super athletic, but it was still a really unique experience that I can only have at CMU, and I am immensely grateful for all of that. Also, look at where we are and what we're doing right now. This is the largest in-person event since March 2020, and I think one of the major reasons that we are able to achieve this today is because all of us have put in so much work to keep each other safe. I also wanted to give a quick shout out to Tartan Testing, which is CMU's rigorous uh, COVID-19 asymptomatic test testing program. About 4,000 Tartans are tested each week, and the results are generally known within a day. So thank you all for doing your part, keeping each other safe, and most importantly, putting your heart into the work. This applies to all of you here today and those watching at home. Speaking of which, let's see who's excited. Woo! Yeah! <laughs> if you're at home, also please make some noise and stand up. And for those of you here today, show your excitement to the Tartan Cam as it makes its way across the stadium. Sunny and I will be back in a few to close out the pre-show. For those of you at home watching, keep an eye out for your friends and graduates. Hello, hello. Wow, it was so wonderful to see all your beautiful faces. Um, we are about you know, a few minutes away from, a, from starting commencement. And in the meantime, we want to dive into some facts and figures about each of the colleges that are represented here today. So starting from the right, we have the College of Engineering. Yes. Alice, would you like to kick off with our first fun fact? Yes, make some noise. All right, pretty good. Um, they're wearing orange hoods. A fun fact, an engineering student missed CMU so much during the pandemic that he and his friends recreated the entire campus block by block in Minecraft. If you haven't checked out that Minecraft or CMU yet, you are totally missing out. And this is something that you can enjoy over here, at home, or wherever you are around the world. Moving on to the left, we have the Tepper School of Business in Drab Brown Hoods. Hello! So I'm sure you guys already know a lot about your school, but just to give you a little plug, uh, Tepper is the number one online MBA program and is also ranked number 15 in all the business schools in the United States. Also, I personally love your building, so I study there a lot. 
Also, we know the official color is drab brown, so on behalf of whoever made that decision, we're, we're sorry. sorry. <laughs> Moving on, College of Fine Arts and their dark brown hoods and their pink hoods. Yes, nice. CMU has the oldest drama school in a U.S. university setting, founded in 1914. Actually, the college graduates have won 50 Tony Awards, including onstage performers like Leslie Odom Jr., Renee Elise Goldsberry, as well as producers, lightning directors, and many, many more. Wow, that's a lot of big names and numbers and stats and awards and accolades you dropped there, Alice. So moving on to the next school, next college, that is also known for their creativity and numbers and stats, the Mellon College of Science. So the lab experience is a very important part of the Mellon College of Science. However, during COVID-19, it was a little difficult. Fortunately, we have very creative professors that create an at-home experiment for classes like biology in your basement. Have you ever heard of that, Alice? Nope, and I don't think I'd want to try. Moving on, Dietrich College of Humanities and Social Sciences. Dietrich College, nice, make some noise. Class of 2021 was actually the first class to participate in the Pittsburgh Summer Internship Program. Isn't that something? That is really cool. And moving on to the pool of yellow and peacock blue hoods, we have the Heinz College of Information Systems and Public Policy. Woo! For those of you that are unfamiliar with Heinz College, I'm sure that you have at least heard of Heinz Ketchup. Fortunately, we are more than just ketchup. In fact, our graduates work in fields as diverse as government consulting and healthcare, public policy and technology, cybersecurity, and arts management. And our last and final college, School of Computer Science. These guys are actually responsible, the Robotics Institute specifically, for designing the wheels on the rover that just landed on Mars in February. This sounds really cool. I am so happy to, for Alice and I to follow in your footsteps next year. Now, it's almost time for the ceremony to start. As you can see, the bagpipers are already in place. Once again, my name is Sunny. I'm Alice. Congratulations, and let's, let's start, start the, the show. show.